Danny Gasparini, and welcome to this segment of Pen Voice. I'm joined today by Buffy Martin Tarbox, who is with the Peninsula Humane Society, and Liz Rosinski, who is with the Harvest Festival here in San Mateo County. Um, both Buffy and Liz have been on the program before. We're here to talk about our annual Harvest Festival. But Betty, who is the most important guest of all, and by the way, I may just ignore the two of you and get on the floor <laughs> and, um, and talk with Betty for a while. But Betty is um, with the Peninsula Humane Society, and I think, Buffy, I'm going to let you talk about Betty and the Peninsula Humane Society, and then we're going to talk about how that's all related to the Harvest Festival. Well, thank you again for having us back. So this is Betty. She is an 11-year-old um, female spade pit bull mix. She's been at our shelter for about close to seven months now and is just waiting for her home. You can see she's very sweet, very loving. She's not super fond of other dogs, but she sure does love humans and she would make a great family pet for people. So if you're interested, come on by and meet Betty and adopt her. So uh, other than fabulous pets like Betty who are looking for their forever home, um, tell us a little bit about the Humane Society and what people can expect and what you do. And then again, we're going to jump into um, how the Peninsula Humane Society is a recipient of the good works of the Harvest Festival. Well, the Peninsula Humane Society, we were started in 1952. So we have two locations, one in San Mateo at Coyote Point and our adoption center, which is actually in Burlingame. So we have a variety of different animals available for adoption. We don't just have cats and dogs. We have exotics, we have rabbits, we have birds. And so, um, and then we also have a very robust wildlife care center where we rehabilitate and return to the wild probably about 1,500 wild animals every single year. I think so, Betty wants to come over. Yes. Do you want to go see Danny? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, so we are the Humane Society and the Animal Care and Control for all of San Mateo County. Mm -hmm. And we take our job very seriously. You know, we believe very strongly in animal welfare and doing everything possible to improve the lives of animals throughout the entire county. And I really appreciate the care that you're giving, for example, with Betty, knowing um, that uh, she doesn't do well with other dogs mm -hmm. and, and with other other animals. I, I would have taken Betty home today um, before you could even have left, but we do have two dogs at home. So it's really important that you, when you take a dog in, that mm -hmm. you've done some extensive behavioral analysis to understand what's the best environment to place these pets, right. not just about adopting them out. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You know, our whole mission is to create forever families. And so when people come in to meet an animal, we want to investigate what their living conditions Right. are like, you know, if they have other pets, if they have children, and we want to try to match them with the animal that's going to be the best possible fit for them. So someone may look at Betty and they may fall in love with Betty, but they may have other animals at home and realize that's not going to be the right fit. But we have lots of other animals at our shelter waiting for forever homes that like other dogs, that get along with cats that we could redirect you toward. Right. And you've been a partner with the Harvest Festival now for several years. Um, it's fun to think that the Harvest Festival, but we think of it as a craft um, and art show that does hook up with a nonprofit like the Peninsula uh, Humane Society to help the great work. So tell us a little bit about how you came about with that partnership, but then also to what the Harvest Festival is all about. Yeah. Um, so we've been working with the Peninsula Humane Society for, gosh, I want to say it's about eight years now. Mm -hmm. um, and what we do is we invite them to come. Um, they help us sell our shopping bags and uh, they get half of the proceeds. Um, so they're only a dollar so people can come by and um, 50 cents of every shopping bag goes to the Peninsula Humane Society. Um, and they also have a mobile pet adoption on Saturday right. and Sunday uh, from 10 to 2 at our show. So we just, um, we. We love partnering with them. They're a great organization. Um, you know, a lot of our visitors are, it's a, fair, it's a very family-oriented show, right. so it's kind of um, a, a perfect partner. Great exposure to the Peninsula Main Society. Yeah. So give us the date of the Harvest, Fest, Harvest Festival and tell us some of the things that we can expect. So it's November 15th through the 17th at the San Mateo Event Center. Um, you can expect, gosh, to see just over 24,000 handmade arts and crafts. Uh, what's really cool about the show is that it gives a platform to small 
artists and makers and we actually have a new feature um, a makers mart this year that's catered to up and coming indie crafters who maybe they haven't had the means yet to break out into a big um, you know full scale craft festival but it's sort of trying to kind of give them the entryway and the exposure yeah and the exposure into that so um, we've got artists from all over the peninsula San Mateo Burlingame Redwood City San Carlos everything from real fine artists uh, photography to fun, you know, Christmas decor, even specialty foods, which some people don't right. think of as at a craft festival. Right. But um, best caramel apples you'll ever have are there. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. And I think what's the fun thing is you did mention it's really an event or a day for the family because mm -hmm. you have things like kid zones and music. And so while parents are shopping, um, one parent could be with the kids in the kid zone. I mean, there's just something for everyone as well as there's items that kids want to buy. Yeah. It's not just about shopping for adults. Exactly. And it's a way I always say, oh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. It's, you know, it's November Christmas shopping. I always end with leave with a bag full of stuff because you can get so much holiday shopping right. done. Mm -hmm. There's stocking stuffers, smaller items like candles. Um, so yeah, there's and, and like you said, entertainment. We've got a ton of really family friendly entertainment. Uh, Santa on stilts will be wandering around. <laughs> you got to watch out for. So um, yeah, and we also have a new kid zone this year. They're going to be making uh, a slime, making slime, which kids just Right. love and the go new crazy thing. for it. Yeah. So it's going to be fun. So if somebody wanted to see sort of the events of the day um, and all of the artists that you will have, um, is there a website that people can visit and just say, oh, I remember this um, leather maker who made particular purses last year. I want to see if they're there again this year. Where can people go? So they can go to our website. Mm -hmm. um, we do have our entertainment schedule. Um, there is an artist gallery. Um, we also have, uh, um, we hand out to everybody who comes to the show a directory which lists all of the vendors, right. all their spaces. Um, so yeah, it, they check out our website, harvestfestival.com. And then do you typically have all the jewelers in one section, the painters in one section, leather goods in one section? How do you break up the uh, the whole Expo Center? So it's they're, they're not all in one section. Okay. Everything's dispersed, and that's kind of, part of that is to give the artists um, some diversity because, you know, not all the jewelers want to be together Got sometimes. Okay. So, um, but it, it's, yeah, it's mixed. We have probably about seven or eight aisles. So it's, I mean, that's part of the reason we have a full food court and entertainment right. is because, you know, people are start walking and halfway through, they're like, boy, it's, this is kind of big. I might need to sit down and, you you know, get a drink and enjoy some, you know, some entertainment. Some downtime. Yeah, exactly. So if people are looking for something in particular, maybe not a particular artist, but a particular craft, they can just go to the directory, yes. see where it is and go, oh, I need to go to booth 42 and, yes. and understand where they can go. What about parking? How accessible is the Expo Center to people? And what are, are there any fees for admission or parking? Yeah, so there, there is uh, an admission fee and it's $9 um, for adults, $7 for seniors, kids 12 and under are free. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a par uh, parking charge as well. I believe it has gone up this year. It's That's run by, that's facilitated the by the Expo, Expo Center. Center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, but, we are accessible through public transit, um, Caltrain, right. Samtrans, things like that. So Uber. And, yeah, Uber, exactly. <laughs> Lyft. Right. And we urge people, you know, carpool when you can. A lot of times we have multi-generations of, like, mothers and daughters and um, that come together. So, yeah, whenever you can, carpool. Well, we just have about a minute left. So, Buffy and Liz, I want to give you the last opportunity to talk about Betty, who is just loving being on her new Caltrain um, uh, rug. Um, but anything about Betty, anything about the Peninsula Humane Society as well as the Harvest Festival? Yes, yeah, so if you're interested in learning more about Betty, you can always just go to our website. Mm -hmm. That's phs-sbca.org. Or you can always just stop by at our adoption center, 1450 Rollins Road in Burlingame. We're open seven days a week, so you can stop in, meet Betty, see some of the other animals that we have available for adoption. And you'll also be bringing pets um, for potential adoption uh -huh. um, at the Harvest Festival as Yes, well. I mean, that's one thing so people can see some of the animals that we do have at the mobile adoption event. You can meet them there, but you will have to come back to our shelter to fill out the paperwork and then take your new family member home. All right, and Liz, we're about to end. Anything else you want to make sure that people 
know about for the Harvest Festival. Yeah, it's just, it's a it's a really fun fall event. It is. Come down, support local crafters. Yeah, and get a jump on your Christmas shopping. Yes. Or your holiday <laughs> shopping, shall yeah. we say. And eat your way through all the goodies. <laughs> I do agree that caramel apple is the best. All right, well, thanks to the both of you. Um, I look forward to a very successful Harvest Festival. And Betty, I want to take you home with me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see all of you next time on Pen Voice.